Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We have our little bit of tools that we need. Big Con and Momo are on their way. Wow. Somebody ran that magnet over. That's nice. Sorry for not posting the last like three weeks, something like that. We were busy with work, didn't really have time. I'm gonna take this loader out here. On a tail spring. Anyway, we probably had enough content for those three weeks and maybe another week or two with Utah content, but obviously nobody likes it and we kind of dropped the ball on that. It's kind of shitty content, not gonna lie. So we don't want to bore you with that. So we're gonna start off. I don't know if we're gonna do weekly uploads as of right now, which are so busy right now. So I'm thinking we'll at least do bi-weekly. We're gonna film a few videos within the next week or two but I don't want to put a video up weekly for two, three weeks and then not have anything for two, three weeks. Just the way things are going right now, we don't have the time to get everybody together. So we might do bi-weekly uploads for right now. But in today's video, what you came for, we're taking this beautiful Ford Focus. A young lady did not have such a good day with it. And we're going to drain the engine oil out. It still runs, has broken motor rounds, and the motor's sitting on the ground. It is leaking a lot of engine oil, so I don't know if it would last anyway. I think the car's junk, period. I think this control arm's ripped off, CV shafts are out, uh, tie rods are broke on both sides. Same thing on this side, both wheels are facing the other way. Motor rounds, literally broken half, the exhaust is ripped off. It still starts, I just don't know how long it'll run for actually not bad it leaked a little bit of oil but not much so my plan here oh that oh there we go look at that is to take this oil extractor and put this on here we'll extract all the oil out of this motor I'm trying to do all this with one hand we're gonna extract all this motor oil out and we have a little surprise to put inside the engine. So we have our oil extractor, which isn't doing anything. There we go. That oil is pretty thick and cold. It looks pretty old. It looks like diesel oil. So it'll take a little bit to extract that out. This motor holds about four and a half quarts. And we have four quarts of sodium silicate, if that's how you pronounce it. I believe it's sodium silicate. Basically, they call this liquid glass. Now, let's see if I can find somewhere to do this at. So back in the day, this stuff was used a lot in cash for clunkers. When dealerships, I guess dealerships did it, was buying all the junk cars, giving the X amount of money for them. And they didn't want people going and just buying them later at the junkyard for scrap again. So to ruin the engine, they would drain all the motor oil out and replace it with this sodium silicate. And what this does is when it gets hot, it, they call it liquid glass. When it gets hot, it pretty much turns into glass and gets pretty hard. Yeah, and, and I was told some yeah, motors science. will just start to run like real slow and die down. And then I was told some of them will break the blocks in half. Some will put rods through the windows. I don't really know what's going to happen. I've never seen it personally. So I saw a video about two months ago on Instagram with, I think it was a diesel mechanic, took his truck, or a diesel, some guy with a diesel truck, took his truck into a shop, had it worked on, and they said the motor blew up when they went to test drive it. So he took it to a diesel mechanic, and supposedly they found this stuff in his motor. So from what they were saying, the dealership put it in to try to sabotage him so he had to buy a new engine. And I don't know if they ever proved it or what, or if it was true, but I seen it and I wanted to test it for myself. So I bought some and we just happened to have this beautiful focus here and it's gonna work out perfectly. So this thing holds four and a half quarts. We got four, which will be plenty. I don't think us being a little low on oil is gonna kill this. So I think we're not worried about that half quart. So we'll wait till this is all sucked out and we'll put this in 
We'll see what Connor and Momo think, but I'm thinking we hold this at full throttle because I want a catastrophic failure. So we'll see. All right. Do either of you know what sodium silicate is? Not an idea. Nope. All right. Wait. So basically. Isn't that like, isn't that like <clears throat> semen? Not. No. No? Not quite. It's So it's sodium silicate is what it is. Sodium semen. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so that's not what it is. That sounds a lot better. It's liquid glass. We're replacing engine oil with sodium silicate in this beautiful Ford Focus. Wow! Well, how can glass be a liquid? It's a solid. It turns into a solid. That's why it's so cool. What do you think's gonna happen? You think it's just gonna seize up or you think it's gonna catastrophically explode? I don't know. The only way it would explode is if it somehow got in like in the compression chain, like, or in the combustion chamber, like above the piston, which wouldn't happen. This is it. Know? Sodium semen, that does say that, doesn't it? Yeah. How See, do you know it won't get We were using there. this camera, and now Tim has to take me talking from this one to this one. And what's crazy is we're going to switch to this one now just to make it more confusing. That's a good idea. For absolutely no reason at all. Only reason if we don't like Tim. See, we just switched here. No reason. Connor, would you do the honors? What honors? Pour this in here. Yeah. Now Don't we need a starter first. Well, before we start, let me ask you something. This holds four and a half quarts, and that's only four. Do you think it'll harm the engine having that little bit less? Here's. Uh, let's put it in reverse. Do we have a red line stick? Here, here. Let me wipe it. This one? Oh no. Yes, your red line stick's right here. Oh. <laughs> You don't, you don't want that? I thought you meant a dipstick here. No, a red line stick. I'll wipe it off. We'll check it. That wasn't, I didn't get it really clean here. Let me try to get this clean. Oh yeah, this will work good. Yep, right to the pile. All right, I wiped it off real good. How's it smell? It don't smell good. It doesn't smell like shit. It actually doesn't smell like anything at all. Mm -mm. Why is that coming in dirt? All right, pour in there. I'm very curious. Which hole? Yes. It looks like water. Well, glass is clear, yeah. so if they're true about the whole glass part, <laughs> now you should be it clear. Everywhere. Now the motor's gonna blow up because we don't have enough oil in there. It just looks like a really thin, really nice oil. This is what diesel oil looks like before you, it's used. What are you thinking here? Are you thinking an idle, a mint, like a mild throttle, or like a mild full throttle? I'm thinking a, a nice little full throttle. I, I, yeah, just a little full throttle. We'll leave that open just in case we get some nice blow-by. We'll get the watch. Did you notice the fact that the exhaust and the motor mounts are ripped off this and this engine's sitting on the ground? Yeah, but that's not alarming at all. The uh, Actually, if you look, the AC compressor is holding the motor up off the ground. That's not alarming. We're not holding it off the ground, holding it on the ground. How did it drive here? It didn't. Yeah, it did. It did. So, who wants to do the honors of holding full throttle? You got it? Did. You take this camera, and when she starts, maybe let her run for a second oh. or two to get her primed. We can cut that There's out, something right? in my way. Brother. Look, I have this. Did something happen to this? I have a Pacchiette knife here. Did something happen to this vehicle that you're not telling me about? Nothing at all happened. So the... Why does it smell like... <laughs> Why does it smell like shit in here? Is there a reason for that? You'll have that. Is that better? On dash over there? What's on that? Oh my oh god. Oh my is god, that is the semen. The semen is on the dash. <laughs> It's on the dash and in the motor. Connor! Uh, are you recording, Connor? Yeah. Is this your vehicle now? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we called it even on the tow. All right. Daddy, chill. Full throttle, brother. It won't work. It did throttle up before. Wow. 
that already sounded a little rough. That didn't take long at all. I put it in drive. Oh. Put it in neutral. I don't think it's gonna start now. Cause it's already tight. Connor kind of did us raw here. I'm gonna get starting fluid. I'm not doing that anymore. What? The key sticks. Oh, nice. So, we have to get in our intake here. Connor, would you be a doll and go get a can of starting fluid? Oh, there we go. It probably the trans probably like locked up or something. This is nice. I'm getting us in here real good. Good access here. Stuff works pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it didn't even wasn't even 20 seconds, I don't think. It made the motor that tight it can't even turn it over fast, but it is trying to start. We're gonna grab a big jump pack too. Because I don't think she has many chances left, so we're gonna we're gonna give her a roll. Oh, you're a big jump back. First, Me? You first can have POV of brother. my face, brother. That's not legal. Are you ready, brother? Well, I don't know. I guess. Give her a shot here. Zero beans. Zero beans. Somehow the jump pack is dead already. Go ahead. Yeah, try her now. Oh, that's what we needed. It's not even taking it. I bet you found the plugs out or something. I put it on my arm hair. <laughs> what? That was a good one. Oh, I, I thought it took my beard off. <laughs> Mama, try again. Guys, build up with the stuff. I told you every single dash light was on. Are they on? There was a problem here with this whole story. What's so that? You told me gas was a liquid. Every, every single. Gas, not a liquid. Yeah, but how did that work? Yeah. No, glass. <laughs> it's glass. You yeah. you mistaken it. Oh. See? You missed, brother. No. Now you broke it. Right. Now you broke it. See, this is what? You try one more time. Wow. I'm going to give it. That is a good I'm gonna window. I'm going to try with something inside my truck. I was throwing it wrong. I had the wrong form. What's your form now? Oh, there's Rice Krispie Treat on me, brother. My form now is shit. Batter up. That was a lot harder than it looked. That was a lot harder than it looked. Right, that's because you were throwing it like that a girl. Was, that was a lot harder than it looked. That was a good window. Yeah, I'm not you gotta throw it over. Overhand. That was a good window. All right. You think we could fit it through this hole? Yeah. I think if you throw it hard enough. I think if you throw it hard enough. If I would have hit the middle, it probably would have went through. Yeah. You try right. the other side. If you have both hands aim, it might be better. Yeah. Wow. I must have been off center a little bit. Yeah, I got plastered with glass though. Really? <clears throat> Momo, we need a good shot. I want you to sit right here. And catch it with your face. Yeah. I need, do it for the YouTube. Get it, get us a good shot. <laughs> sit, sit, sit right here, right in that seat. Relax, Wear your please? seat belt for safety. Stop. Brother, I'm gonna get glass in my asshole. Stop no, that's beeping. okay. Oh my. What are we doing here? Sit right here. Can we relax? Can we relax, please? Stop! Brother, I'm gonna glass my asshole. Stop beeping. 
Oh my. Brother. Brother. It's so annoying. He doesn't learn. Finally. When Cody Detweiler did it breaking or tried to break a window on a door on a truck, you think you could actually break it yeah, unlike him? He's Correct. just he's just not strong. If I remember, I'm pretty sure he never broke it. I yeah. think the door might have got a little messed up. He was pretty weak. All right, let's try it here. That was four. You think we should get a counter going? Have Tim do a little ding counter, ding, but in like ding, ding, ding. in like. No. Time lapse form. No, I don't think I will. I need you more. give it five, and then I'm gonna, just gonna I'm gonna hammer down. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna go on a time I'll, lapse here. I only need one though. Okay. Connor. I don't I need even, one more. I don't think we need the whole time I need lapse one more. or the whole like. Yeah, that's because I'm that's because I'm strong. All right, give her a shot here, brother. We got it. We got it. The front one broke though. Well, that's, I, I meant to do that. You know I'm recording, right? I don't think we need the whole time I need lapse. One more. Or the whole, like. Yeah, that's because I'm, that's because I'm strong. All right, give her a shot here, brother. We got it! We got it! The front one broke, though. Well, that's, I, I meant to do that. You know I'm recording, right? Yeah, you got Connor breaking it, right? No. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure Connor broke that one. See that pistol whip he has? That he was fucking earlier. blew my eardrums out with it. That was earlier. No, that was the door. No, I that was it so hard. Well, I got rid of the Tyrannosaurus Rex in there. Yeah. Listen. Everybody says everything's staged. Nothing staged. You see this guy's face? Nothing staged. Yeah. Bowling ball, though. <laughs> when, when Gary almost hit me with the bowling ball through the camper, I'll put that clip in. Rock is is lens. Oh. You want you want some rock is lens? Where's that? Rock is lens. Rock is <laughs> Okay. I guess. I guess I'll keep them to myself. And by me, I mean Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Let's test this back for a little while. Just wait, just wait. All right. Back window glass. is not very strong. Not very strong back window. My that passenger feet. window, that passenger wouldn't have died. Let's see if the rear driver is as strong. We need to get the bowling ball out without cutting yourself. That's a strong spoiler. <laughs> Is everything okay? Is everything okay? <laughs> That's a good spoiler. Your technique very impressive. Are you emotionally all right? Let's try it again. This is harder than it looks. Wow. All right, I'm putting this back. My wrist hurts now. Get rid of that for me. <laughs> I thought I was in your toes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little curious. No. No cocaine behind the seat covers? No, they're not cut resistant. Oh. I wasn't sure. Maybe the backs are. That looks pretty cut resistant. Huh. Maybe not. Let's try the other side.
Somebody's gonna be so upset. They probably needed these seats. But I had to know if they were cut resistant. X marks the spot. There's drugs in here, Connor. I know it. You know it? Black tar heroin? Yes. All right, never mind. I think it's just disguise. Disguise drugs. None of these are covers this day. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Would have thought a quality vehicle like this would have had cut resistant seats. And I didn't want to tell you this on camera, but this isn't even actually a razor blade. It's a paid actor. Yeah. Why would you tell him that? Well, they weren't supposed to know. Yeah, see, this just, this just doesn't. That was a cat. Meow. Jody was here. Jody? Yep, he was here. Let's test the tires. Oh, man. Not cut resistant. The paid actor came back and hit my knee and it really hurts now. Oh. Here you go. Pretend you're a child and you're mad that your mom bought a piece of junk. Hit it harder. Yeah, no. Okay, now for our next test, I want you to do it on this 22.5. All right, I got it. <laughs> Connor's gonna die now. Momo got us another jump pack. Gotta close this door. Perfect. You fucking suck at this camera. <laughs> I was trying to close the door. I literally said that, brother. We don't want all the glass on the floor. That's a lot better now. All right. Get in there and crank this thing. I am not sitting in there. Yes, you are. No, crank that sit. soldier boy. Uh, sit. The keys are in the cup holder of the blue truck. Uh, uh, Oh, we were testing if the seats were cut resistant in the door. I think got messed up. This car's fucked now. No, it's fine. Oh. I thought for sure someone was gonna hit in the face when that broke. I did. <laughs> Good thing we didn't break the mirror. I'd be seven years of bad luck if we broke it. Yeah. It's amazing the amount of damage you can do to a vehicle with a simple rock and your foot. Ow, it's like that's terribly a, weak. That's a lot of damage. That saves your life right there. Why would you take this out? I'm sorry, I didn't right know, what, I thought we were done. How are my kids supposed to get in now? You could total a car with your foot. The durability test of the Ford Focus is not good. Glass in, ass. Glass, in, glass in the ass. So for the last six hours, we've been, we've been trying to get this running. Bro, we, oh my goodness gracious. We just wasted the last 10 minutes trying to get this running again. No luck. This door don't even close anymore. Why won't this close? Sure. Connor, can you do the honors and close this for me? I can't get it to close. Can't get it to close. Oh, it won't close. No. It's a damn shame. I can't kick much harder. Here, let me hold the camera. I'll, I'll tell you how you need to do it. I'm so confused. What happened here? You need you need to do a two foot maneuver. Oh, like a jump and two feet. I can't do that. But I can't I can't kick it like this. I can't kick it any harder. I'm not strong enough. Not with that attitude. I got it. Here, put your pinky in there. I got it. You hold it up. Put your pinky in there. Brothers, I don't know how this video is gonna. Oh my god. You just. God 
damn it. Yeah. Nothing's going right. I did one of these. Wow, it, it did close. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. I don't know how this video is going to turn out because it didn't work nearly like what I thought it was going to. Brother, it's already popped. We had big flame. We did have a big flame. I'm a little disappointed. Maybe we tried it on diesel and get it to run away or something with that stuff in it. I don't really know. I'm kind of at a loss here. I'm kind of disappointed, a little sad. Really disappointed, actually. Like, really disappointed. I don't even know how to describe how disappointed I am. I'm just really disappointed. I'm about as disappointed as Connor's parents are in him. Brother, no. I wanted that. I'm that disappointed. I wanted that. You think you could get the bowling ball to go through? Or your face to go through? Yeah, the, I'll tell you right now, the windshield is not feet rated. It's not dude rated. Yeah. I was gonna say, that's coming back and hitting you in the feet for sure. Before it hits me in the nuts, I'm gonna stop. Before somebody gets hurt, we're gonna end this video. I'm sorry for disappointing. That's what life's about right now. So I can't do much other than proceed to disappoint. Well, if you have any ideas, or, I don't know where it's at, I can't say words, but that, and that, and something else, I think that should be a good video. I'm excited for that one, but maybe we'll try this again another time. We actually have a Hemi over there. I think that at full throttle might be more catastrophic, so maybe we'll try again. You're really disappointed in this video, aren't this you? This is how I'm set about it, man, about this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And have a great day. Connor, I got a little bonus afterthought. I don't know if I can zoom in on this thing. No. There's a basket over... Oh, actually, it's right here. There's a basket over there, a crane basket. Do you think... We should make a video with the little baby army cranes that only lift like 50 feet with the basket dropping stuff onto a car. Dropping people. Well, what do you think about dropping? Because why would we need the, the man Who's basket? Who's going to jump out? Why would we need a man basket if there's not a man jumping out? To lift a man to, safely. Yeah, but why would you need to lift them? I will lift you with a harness. Forget the basket. We can get you closer to the air yeah. because the basket's going to lose six feet of height. If we yeah. if we get a harness, yeah. I can hook you right to the winch and winch you I right like, up to I the like pulley. That. I like that. But if we pull you too far, it's going to suck you into the crane. I like that. So do you think we should do it with a little 50-foot crane or do you think we should just go right to a big 100-footer? 100-foot, for sure. You think so? Yeah. Drop a comment. A 100-foot crane or do we kind of ease our way like do we ramp our way up into full throttle or do we just start at full throttle ease our way just like you did with the fire truck video you didn't really ease our way there yeah we'll put a little clip in there two of them <laughs>